and it was also a very tough day for NMSU. They came to get down, they came to get down, and they got out their seat and jumped around, a tradition that started back 21 seasons ago. The Wisconsin jump around. And hey, if you're a Badgers fan, why the heck wouldn't you have been jumping around? They bloody well won at 66 to 7. A scoreline that doesn't look good, and look, it isn't good. But you had to be somewhat delusional to think that an 0 3 Aggies team had a shot against the Badgers. That's why, for me, this game wasn't about winning. It was about continuing to build and get the small wins. I want to see quarterback Diego Pavia continue to find space and start leading the team, the defense to hold their own against a quality Badgers offense, and the team as a whole show that same fight they did when they nearly came back against UTEP just a week ago. So let's see how they did on my three keys. Pavia started the game, but by the second quarter, Gavin Frakes was playing under center, and the two continued to switch on and off throughout the game, struggling to find any real consistency. Pavia had the one interception and sack and threw 19 times for 52 yards, while Frakes had two interceptions and threw 10 times for 66 yards. One of those passes, though, playing a key role in their lone scoring drive. Secondly, the defense. Yes, the scoreline might make you think there was none, but there was, like this big sack from Chris Ojo to force the punt. And finally, and arguably the most important fight. Starting in the fourth quarter, you're down 56 to nil. I couldn't blame the Aggies for putting their tails between their legs and getting off the field and back to LC, but no, not this Aggie team. They were playing fearlessly in the fourth. Watch the pass from Frakes to Jordan Parker here. And then Amonte Watkins running it in for the only TD of the game. Yes, it was against a second, if not third string defense at this point, but still some fight from the Aggies. Right now we're playing football that's not Jerry Kill type football. I think anybody knows me tell you that is that, you know, the turnovers, the penalties, the tip balls. I mean, you can just go on and on in this game in the first half. We continue not to quit and uh, very easily could have. I'm very confident that we'll get it done. It's just that we got to learn how to do things the proper way. And uh, sometimes you uh, got to go through the, the hard stuff before you, you see the tunnel at the, you know, at the end of life or light at the end of the tunnel. Tough times, certainly the Aggies are now 0-4 to start the season, but they come out of that game $1.4 million richer as they enter a stretch of four home games. First up is a Hawaii team that are 0-3 currently playing a game right now, so we'll see where they stand coming in to next week.